All right, happy Monday, everyone. Hope you had a good weekend. It's weather for Weather Geeks time. It's the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast. We're going to take a long look at this week's weather. The weekend weather, it's Memorial Day weekend coming up, and uh, much more, of course, in this evening's video. We'll start with a little review of where we've been. Now, we're three weeks into the month of May. It's been like the polar opposite of April. Uh, almost every day has been warmer than average so far this month. Yesterday was an exception. We stopped at 69 degrees, our average 70, so it was barely below average. Yesterday, we did 78 today, uh, seven and a half degrees above average through the first three weeks of the month. And this is our third warmest opening three weeks of May on record here in Youngstown. So it's been very, very impressive, the pattern flip that we've had as we've gotten into the month of May. Again, just a total reversal of the very chilly weather that we had in March and especially in April. All right, it was warm today, but it was not humid. Dew points have been in the 50s locally. Once again, much like last week, we've got a tight gradient between Comfortable dry air and moisture-laden air off to our south. Notice the difference in the dew point between Youngstown and Columbus just before 7 p.m. And right along that boundary is where we, uh, no surprise, have some showers and storms lining up. And a severe thunderstorm watch is out this evening for uh, much of central and western Ohio. This includes Dayton and Columbus. And this was what the radar looked like at... Uh, 659, we had one cell that was producing a warning out in west central Ohio. This is west of the Mansfield area. Big line of uh, storms here, but only one that's uh, producing a warning around Bucyrus and Marion. Uh, the reason for the warning, uh, most likely hail. There's probably some strong winds in here, but also a couple of hail cores being uh, detected on the uh, radar this evening. Again, this is west of Mansfield at 7 p.m., uh, close to Route uh, 30 out here in west central parts of Ohio. All right, what about our local weather? I think we're fine through the rest of the daylight hours this evening. Now, as we fast forward a few hours, I'm going to stop this at about midnight or so. This is probably when we have the highest risk of some loud thunderstorms. Uh, maybe just after our 11 o'clock newscast and then right around midnight, somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, after we see that initial round of heavier rain and some thunder and lightning, we probably just get into a showery regime for the rest of the overnight. Now, could there be a rumble here and there? Yes, but uh, I doubt we see much in the way of uh, gusty storms um, once we get through that initial line. And it'll probably rain decently up through the pre-dawn hours, and then once we get into the daylight hours tomorrow, I'm expecting the rain chances to ramp down for a little while around mid to late morning and taking us into the midday. So I've got our precip chances at their lowest between, say, 10 and 1, and then a ramp up in rain chances as we head towards evening. And the reason for that on your Tuesday is we have a cold front coming our way. And that front, uh, first again, we see showers in the morning, and then that front rolls through by the end of the afternoon. And this will be real hit or miss, scattered, random, you get the idea kind of stuff. It's one of those things where someone's going to ask me, hey, is it going to rain in, on my you know, golf game at 4 o'clock? And if they ask me that at 10 in the morning, I'm going to shrug my shoulders. You know, this is we're getting into that time of the year. It's an unsatisfying answer for a lot of people, but that's the way it goes in the spring and summer. It is random hit or miss stuff a lot of times. If you're unlucky, you're going to get under a downpour tomorrow afternoon, and if you luck out, you may not see a drop of rain on Tuesday. Now, the atmosphere will be pretty unstable ahead of that front tomorrow afternoon. It'll be muggy, much more humid than today. Dew points tomorrow, probably in the middle and upper 60s. And so these storms will have some fuel uh, to get going. Uh, the instability should wane then as we head towards evening tomorrow. Also a risk, probably not of damaging hail, not the kind of hail that's going to cause a lot of problems, but at least some small hail is a possibility if we get some taller storms um, tomorrow afternoon along that cold front. So that's something we'll be watching out for. The Storm Prediction Center, part of the National Weather Service, does have the area in a low risk of severe weather and as you probably know severe weather has a definition it's either hail of one inch in diameter or larger or wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or greater chances aren't real good that we see either of those tomorrow afternoon but it's uh, it's a non-zero risk so again keep an eye to the sky and uh, stay weather aware if you're if you have outdoor plans especially second half of the afternoon tomorrow early in the evening so yeah damaging winds perhaps some hail a possibility now, behind the front, you're going to notice the change again. It's going to be much less humid. You're going to step outside Wednesday morning and go, ooh, this feels pretty good. Now, it's not going to look very nice first thing Wednesday. I have uh, added some clouds to our forecast for Wednesday morning. Uh, some stratocumulus clouds will probably linger through at least lunchtime. I think we'll get into a much better afternoon, and it should be a gorgeous end of the day on Wednesday. What a great evening it'll be on Wednesday. Uh, nice northerly breeze, humidity low, sunshine. I mean, that's a great springtime evening coming up on Wednesday. And if you can't take advantage of that, 
you'll have time to do so on Thursday. It's going to be fantastic on Thursday as well as high pressure drops an anchor. Again, those dew points elevated tomorrow. We get a break Wednesday, Thursday, and then the air becomes humid again at the end of the week and especially into the holiday weekend. Uh, this is going to be pool and air conditioning weather for sure as we go into the Memorial Day holiday weekend with uh, temperatures soaring into the 80s. Here's what I have for the numbers, the temperature forecast for the next uh, seven days. 86 on Saturday. What a way to start the holiday weekend. Now, Saturday is probably the warmest part of the uh, entire Memorial Day holiday weekend. Again, it stays muggy into Sunday. Monday may be the coolest day of the three-day weekend. Um, rain chances will probably start to increase as we go into Sunday and Monday. So let's talk about that a little bit. If you have uh, plans, as a lot of people do, over the uh, Memorial Day holiday weekend, I'm going to show you what, just one of our models here. I don't want to make this video 50 minutes long. So we'll just look at the GFS for the weekend, and I'll show you what may be right, what may not be right. Here's a look at Saturday's... Whoops. Let's look at Saturday's map. Now, what you're looking at here is a front approaching from the north, some moisture increasing with the increasing dew points off to our south. So this is this is scattered summertime thunderstorm pop-up stuff. This is more organized stuff with a cold front. We're probably in between for a lot of the day Saturday, so I have a mostly dry forecast for Saturday. Now, Sunday could be a little bit different because that front that was off to our north may lay out across the region here on Sunday, probably in here, and that would lead to an increased chance for some showers and storms. Then on the holiday itself on Monday, right now the GFS has a mostly dry forecast. There's actually going to be some tropical trouble uh, around the holiday weekend, uh, perhaps a tropical system coming in the Gulf of Mexico into the Gulf Coast, and then the moisture lurking down in the deep south. High pressure might keep a lot of that at bay on Monday. That's a low confidence forecast. This is a week out, but uh, I do have at least a small chance for some showers and storms on uh, Memorial Day. So right now, if I had to rank the three weekend days, I would put preliminarily Saturday number one, even though it's going to be pretty hot. I would put Monday at number two. It's likely to be cooler, but there's a chance of a little bit of rain. I would put Sunday as the least favorable day for outdoor activities at this point because it's going to be humid. And that's probably the day we have the best chance for some rain. But of course, if you have uh, holiday plans that involve the outdoors, check the forecast often this week. We'll have full updates on air and online throughout the week. Thanks for checking out tonight's Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you back here for more geeky action on your Tuesday evening.